I've been trying to relearn the electric guitar after years of just playing the acoustic guitar with the finger picking technique. And one of the things that I find it quite helpful is to practice some of the finger picking patterns that I love the most with the guitar pick. Now I find this quite helpful because you know I'm practicing something that I already know uh, but I'm just using a different approach. So it works for me and I want to show you this nice finger picking pattern that I've been using uh, for the past few days. Now it's a simple and straightforward alternate picking pattern. So we are going down, up, down, up. But we are using it rhythmically to play chords. And what I mean by that is we are playing this alternate picking pattern across three, four, or sometimes five strings. Let me give you a quick example. So we are not practicing the alternate picking as we will play scales. Instead, by you know practicing it over a chord progression, it becomes a little bit more challenging as we have to perform the technique across multiple strings. So the very first step, just practice this simple pattern. We have the down stroke on the D string, up stroke on the G, down stroke on the D, and up stroke on the B string. That's it, just four notes. One thing that I want you to notice guys is that I like to move my elbow up and down quite a lot as I am playing the alternate picking technique across the strings. So I'm going down, up, down, up, and, I'm, and I bring the elbow up and down depending on how many strings I am picking, which is different than playing scales. You will lock the elbow on the body and just go up and down with your wrist. Now we're moving way more with the elbow. Now that we kind of have an idea of how we want to pluck the strings, let me show you a nice chord progression uh, and how we can spice things up with these chords to make it even more rhythmic and beautiful to play. The first example is this one. First chord is the E at 11 with the A on the bass. So I have the uh, A, which is zero, and then seven, four, five, and four. I have a bar chord on the front of the four. Now, the cool thing about this picking pattern is the fact that we're gonna strum the first chord and then we're gonna start with the alternate picking technique. have the E major chord. So I'm playing between two chords, the E major, which is 0, 7, 6, 4, 5, 4, and the E major 7, so I'm getting rid of the middle finger and playing the, uh, playing the fret 4 on the B string. So I'm always strumming the first chord and then I start with the uh, alternate picking technique. As you can see, I like to change strings sometimes even though the picking pattern is always the same. And of course guys, you can be even more energetic if you want. Now let me show you another idea. So 
we're gonna open up with this lovely A sus2 chord, which is 0, 7, 9, 10, and 7. And again, it's always the same thing. We strum the first chord and then we keep, uh, you know, the alternate picking. And then the E major chord. So for the E major, I'm just using a bar chord on the fret number 9, which is an E major triad. And I'm strumming all the strings, except for the top E string. And then the alternate picking. Then the B major chord. And then the C sharp minor chord. And this is a little bit faster. And the last example, guys, which is my favorite. So we're gonna open up with this A major chord. And then the A major with the sharp 11, A major, and this A major six. It's a nice and lovely transition. And the E major chord. And you know, the picking pattern is still the same. We're still strumming the first chord and then we keep going with the same um, alternate picking pattern. So this is what I have been practicing so far, guys. Nice and lovely exercise. Take it step by step, you know? It can be challenging, uh, especially if you have been using the alternate picking technique for a while, but take it step by step. Enjoy the process, keep challenging yourself, and enjoy this video. The tab will be available on the uh, Patreon page if you need it. Otherwise, just enjoy this video and have fun playing these lovely chords. Talk to you soon.